You ever question how you spend your own time, even though we should all be able to do whatever we want? Hey there, NJ, Route22.com here with a little bit of a philosophy blog. Um, it's about uh, how people spend their time. And I've been wondering in, uh, about this quite a bit. And, uh, you know, s some might argue, well, you know, you only have a little bit of a life. You should be able to do whatever you want, even if it's self-destructive or it's a complete waste of time. Or if you want to get fat and lazy and stupid and just sit there and uh, do stuff like play video games or watch TV or what have you. And, and the, the premise is, you know, to each their own, you know, live and let live. Um, and I'm in full agreement with that for the most part. However, <clears throat> the philosophical question is, do you ever wonder who makes the things that we do available? You know, for instance, whether it's music or, or video games is a, is a kind of a big thing for me because it's a huge, like multi-billion dollar industry that people spend a lot of time on. I mean, I know some people, some acquaintances that, you know, they'll stay up till the sun comes up playing video games. And all these types of things have psychological hooks in them to keep you engaged. Um, and yes, you're having fun, but what does that fun um, net you? And additionally, who benefits from your fun? So there's this kind of like uh, cause and effect, love-hate type relationship. You know, they get, they present you something almost like a drug. You know, you know, heroin is addictive, and it profits the uh, the drug dealer that uh, sells it to you. The same thing goes for things that are not classified as dangerous substances or drugs like these uh, addictive things that we do. And the same goes for food as well. You know, you, you should be able to eat whatever you want, but you know, if it, has, if it raises your blood sugar and has, has carbs in it, you're just gonna eat more and that profits the people that make it. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that most of the things that people do, as much as they wanna justify or label that it's not harmful, you know, you know, what's, what's the harm is what they say. But it, when you think about it, it's like, who are you benefiting? I mean, who's the, who's the benefactor for your use of time? And I just think it might be better to do things that are productive <clears throat> and don't require that you share it on social media to get your ego filled with people saying, wow, that's nice, or oh, good job, thanks for helping those kittens or what have you. What about just the fundamental basics? You know, taking care of your family, making sure your house is organized, that you're prepared for bad things that might happen, and, and so on. So I really think if you really look at what you do and how you spend your 168 hours a week, uh, who benefits? And, and what are you losing by uh, engaging in these addictive uh, activities. So that's it. Something to think about. Um, even though you can justify perfectly well what you do, you might want to rethink exactly what you're doing. Have a good week.